Hi everyone, it's uh, X-Wing. Uh, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to do a real quick video to show you the upgrade to my Luxion Sidious. Uh, if you've seen this before, this is a pretty rare hilt. After um, getting this, I tried to find uh, the guy who originally commissioned these and found out it's only one of 20 that were made. So, um, And I've met two of the other people that own, own these, so there's not many out there, and this is uh, the only Lexion one that I know of. So uh, what I did for upgrades was, um, first the external ones that you can see here is, I'm using a 3 force nylon blade, which um, is much better than what I had in before. Before I just had a quad wrap of Corbin film, and Corbin film alone is not very great. Um, but now I have my own nylon blade in here, which you'll see is much better. And uh, at the bottom, I have a push button switch now. I haven't put the uh, the bronze or brass casing over top of it. I'll probably do that later. All I have to do is thread it. But um, I kind of like it even as is. It still looks pretty good just as is. It's in the correct spot and all that. But I found the previous slider that I had there to be annoying, and it scratched the paint too much. So um, basically, that's the push button on the bottom. Now internally, I saved a lot of room on this saber by uh, having a custom heat sink now that literally it fits in the blade and the blade holder here so that I saved a lot of room in the back half here by moving the heat sink and LED and optics up to the front before I had everything in the back half here in a really deep socket which didn't help on the brightness. But now I was able to move that forward, get better brightness, and more room to put the electronics. Now for electronics upgrade, I have, actually I have a red K2 in there. I just happened to uh, get an emitter, and I was just like, well, I'm not gonna order a three, the K2. I tried it, it looks good. And I have one of those super small optics that I've been using for my Rebels, which also can work for the uh, normal Luxions. And then here in the back, I've upgraded the uh, the driver. No, it's no longer a direct drive from a CR123. It's a um, Plector driver. The Plector dimmer, whatever, the standalone dimmer. And it's really cool because I have the uh, clash effect from that. It has the flicker setting. It has the in and out. Basically, it's a full-featured light. Full feature on the light. It just doesn't have sound. Which is cool because I didn't want to have to drill anything or modify this any more than it is. It's already rare as it is. And I can't go back very easily on anything I do. So um, basically, and then also for the batteries, it's no longer just a single CR123, which is only 3 volts. But uh, since I first worked on this saber, I've been working a lot more with making my own battery packs. And I'm very confident in what I've been doing so far. So uh, now... It has a 6-volt AAA pack, which is really good because uh, you ask why 6 volts out of AAAs. Well, it's a nice little pentagon shape that fits perfectly in this small hilt. And besides that, the extra voltage helps with the flicker setting. It doesn't give me too much better run times, but it definitely helps with keeping the flicker on most of the time. Because at, at about 3.4, 3.3 3 volts, it's not enough to keep the flicker going on this, and it goes to direct drive. So basically that extra voltage really helps me get the flicker setting on the majority of the time. And when the flicker goes out, I can tell, whoa, that's really time to start charging it. But um, that's it for all the upgrades. I'm just going to show you what it's like here. You'll see that it's a much brighter than it was before. See, there you go. As you can tell, you can see all the light washing on me. It's a much, much brighter blade now. It's it matches just as well any other red saber that I have now because of the nylon blade and the properly driven LED now. It's very good. You can see my room is pretty bright and it's a nice, 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 nice light blade. So uh, here I'll show you the in and out. It has a very slow out and a quicker in. Now my camera isn't going to really pick up the, the clash or the uh, or the um, the flicker setting very well, but it's there, and uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy looking at my Luxion Sidious. If anyone else happens to have one of these, I would love to see it at least, and hell, I'd buy it from you. But uh, here, here's my Luxion Sidious. I'm very happy to own this unique saber. Hope you guys enjoy it.